When I heard my friend Lord Baltimore was starting a place with religious freedom, well, I determined to go. I'm tired of persecution. So I boarded a ship in 1638 and set sail for the new world. How many of you think you'd be brave enough to be a colonist and get on a ship in those days? Say, aye. 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 What about the rest of you cowards? <laughs> well, perhaps you're wiser than you know. Of course, the journey alone is dangerous. You're on a small wooden ship about the length of this room. And how long do you think it's going to take you to cross the Atlantic Ocean? About two to four months. That's right. That's right. There are storms which can sink the ship and pirates, diseases, all manner of things can go wrong. Some of us never make it to Maryland at all. My faith was worth it to me, but you really have to want to go or have to go. And um, by the way, only the rich men get to sleep in private cabins. The rest of you are below decks, and where do you get to sleep? On the floor, the planks. Right, with a bunch of strangers for two to four months. Sound like fun? Yes, you can hardly wait to go. Right. Well, I was actually very lucky. I had a swift, safe journey. I made it about 52 days. And when I landed here upon, well, Maryland only had one tiny town. What was the first, time, first town in Maryland? St. Mary's City. Everybody say that. St. Mary's City. That's right, St. Mary's City. That's it. That was Maryland, and it's not a city at all like London. It's so small, it is a village surrounded by a wooden fence. And it is where I, Margaret Friend, landed. And when I did, I was granted 100 acres of land. Hmm. Boy, you're a tough bunch. You're still not impressed. Well, do you not realize I am the first woman to own property in America? Oh, now 